and we live. Hey, hey. <laughs> What's the deal, bro? It's the Double Edge Podcast. Welcome. It's the Double Edge Podcast. Look, man, I got a gripe, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got a gripe because I realized something yesterday hmm. while I was on my trip. You know what I'm saying? In Richmond, enjoying my anniversary weekend. You know Happy anniversary. Appreciate it, dog. You know you what I'm saying? saying? Seven years strong, dog. Hey, many more. It's been seven years already? Yeah. Still in love. Where did the time go? <sighs> How long have I been married? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. About 20, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I was like, what? <laughs> I, I don't even. Okay. Continue. <laughs> But anyways, you know what I mean? Yeah, it crossed my mind. You know, the theme song, The Family Matters, just popped in my mind, right? Mm -hmm. And I was just like, yo, I started singing it. It's a wholesome song. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, days gone by, it's a bigger love for the family. And I was like, when I thought about it, I was like, it's something that didn't sit right when I got to that family. And I was like, you know what? You know what this is? This is fake processed soul, bro, that he did not have, bro. Blue eyes soul. This is not soul. You know what I'm saying? My man Jesse, what is this? Jesse Frederick. You know what I mean? Bro, this was artificial soul, bro. And they were sitting in the studio and they was like, Jesse, sing it like a nigga, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine you got big nigga lips. And he was like, it's a bigger love for the family. And they was like, that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> I felt it. I felt it right here. <laughs> well, well, first of all, I didn't know that man was white. Because I'm like, the way he was singing. I knew someone right, bro. It didn't feel I right. It was like beyond it. meat. <laughs> it was like beyond meat, bro. I was like, yo. I'm like, I feel this. But it's some inside that's just like, it's like an ancestor in the back, like, don't trust it, son. <laughs> 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 that nigga ain't had no lips, bro. <laughs> it's like, it's a bigger love for the family. <laughs> but, you know, now that I think about it, it does sound kind of Billy Joel esque. You know? <laughs> but it's like Billy Joel light, though. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It ain't like it ain't like Billy Joel. Billy. They should have got Billy Joel to do it. If they was gonna get somebody to do it. They probably had black backup singers. You know what I'm saying? As the days go, maybe that's what it was. Maybe that's why. They that's why. Them. Yeah. You know what I mean? They try to sneak it in, bro, <laughs> under the radar. Nah, bro. Dog, I felt it in my heart, bro. My spirit was like, "Don't trust it, son. Don't trust it." I was blind, but now I see. I see you, Jesse. I see you, Jesse Frederick. Like, I see you. Did Jesse Frederick do any more songs? <laughs> I don't know, bro. This but is the first time I've heard it. I feel like they need to see what Jesse Frederick looked like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they need to see this man's face, bro. Hold on, man. I need to. I need to get a big picture of him, bro. My man, Je was that his Facebook? Or no, that's his Twitter. No, I ain't trying to... Boy, it's a Twitter X. I ain't trying to go to the wrong Twitter, bro. <laughs> Podcast be canceled instantly. Yeah, be like, boy, you sure that's what you want? Like, wait a minute. Jesse Frederick. Boy, you like a congressman, bro. Boy, he look like a, a mass murderer, bro. You know, that's, that's probably what he looked like when he sang the song, though. This is probably this is exactly what he looked like. Look at him. <laughs> he like one of the Beatles, bro. <laughs> they was like, do it, Jesse. He was like, I got this one. Man, so I'm like, what else did he sing though? <laughs> My man had to go to a place, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, <sighs> okay. He went to Harold's though. <laughs> I thought he recorded this in Chicago. <laughs> he took a deep breath. <laughs> It's a bigger love for the family. I, I know he shook his head like this, bro. I wish that we could play music. <laughs> like, because I really want to hear this, like, right now, yo. Honestly. Like, as I'm looking at this, I'm just like. <laughs> I, but, I mean, he, I mean, it's just like, the thing is, it's like, he, ch he put his heart and his soul into it, bro. And as a kid, like, you don't really, I mean, you're just like. You know. He's real passionate about this. <laughs> and I was like, all right. And it's like, you rock with it. Because it's like. Yeah. You know but you know, I never. 
you never really I never paid attention to the end of it though. Yeah. Like that's why I want to hear it now. So I'm like, <laughs> if that's what gave it away. <laughs> I never thought about it. But I'm like, because you know what it is? It's because Family Matters is hella black. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> Like, dog, the man, what's his name, Reginald? Yeah. Now, like, bro, first of all, you ain't gonna find no white Reginalds. <laughs> I, I tried, bro. I yeah. asked the white dude that got in my car. I forget what his name was, but I was like, yo, you wanna hear something crazy? He was like, what? It was like, I bet you don't know no white people named Reggie. He was like, I don't. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you'll never find them. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, you got that hairy. Because Family Matters was a spinoff of, um, uh, whatever movie, what, not movie, whatever show that was. I can't remember the name of it, yo. But, like, Harry was a, um, an elevator operator. Mm -hmm. And that was the original show. But the spinoff, Family Matters, was about her family. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which is crazy in itself. Because yeah. Family Matters got so big, I didn't know it was a spinoff till like, way later. Yeah, it was a... What was the other black show? Because it was a show... It's like they... Because I was listening to um, the dude that played uh, Steve Urkel. He mm -hmm. was talking Jaleel about White. it. Yeah, Jaleel White. He was talking about it. And he was basically saying, like, how before he got on the show... Like it had already ran like five episodes or something like that. Mm -hmm. And he was like, it wasn't funny. You know what I mean? And it wasn't funny because they had the black family show with white writers that really it couldn't translate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So how they wrote it, it wasn't connecting like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So when he came in, he was like, you know, basically he just had to. <laughs> pretend to be like a nerdy white boy you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying but he was like he started using like a little bit of his you know what i mean throw a little bit sprinkle a little bit of blackness in there you know what i'm saying when he could and you know what i mean it just called it just took it to another level bro Yo, so fun fact about that he was never supposed to be a main character yeah i know like, it was never supposed <laughs> to happen yeah but he came in a flex it flex and, and it caused a little animosity. <laughs> yeah, because, first of all, television, bro, back then, bro, they, oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. they still trash now. But back then, they was like, yeah, uh, you're going to be the star of the show. <laughs> and they're like, you're going to be the star of the show. Oh, yeah, you're definitely the star of the show. Yeah. And then he showed up and was like, yeah, uh, yeah, he's the star. <laughs> yeah, bro. And they saw them ratings. They were like, yeah, we need Did I chance. do that? And the crowd was weak. No, audiences loved it, bro. <laughs> But it's so crazy that that was a spinoff, bro. And I cannot remember the name of the show to save my life, bro. But yeah. I mean, it, it wasn't a black sitcom, though. Yeah. Like, that's the crazy part. But, I mean, it's dope that they did it. Did black sitcoms exist? This was in the 80s. I mean, yeah, you had, um... I mean, well, I yeah, mean, but... Like, the Jeffersons. Yeah. But this is, like, coming, like, out of, like, the 70s. You know what I mean? Into the 80s. I mean, that is true. Like, when did Family Matters... Family Matters came out in, what, 80... Like, 87? I don't even know, bro. It was like I know it was late eighties. I don't remember exactly what year it was, but yeah. So you had Family Matters. Um, what's the joint where um, uh, all the kids end up going to college? You know what I'm talking about? Different world. Different world. So yeah. So from world. Bill Cosby, from the Cosby Show to yeah. a different world, different world, Whoa. different world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said, Whoa. Like yeah. I seen the alien. So though. that was the spinoff. Yeah, from, it was yeah, because it was dealing with uh, what was her name, bro? Uh, I know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from the cops. Yeah. So yeah. So I mean, it's it was a, yo. There was actually for real, for real. Like, seventies through like early nineties, bro. Was like, I mean, bro. Black sitcoms was hitting, bro. Yeah. I mean, now after that, I mean, it was few far in between. Like you had uh, was it my wife and kids. Yeah. That, that was, was whole, hilarious, know. bro. That was. What I mean, that's stuck through. Yeah. Because that I mean, was like the last good one, honestly, that I can yeah. think of. I mean, Marlon had his show. He had a show that was like, it looked like, I mean, all those shows are like they filmed the same house. <laughs> wait, wait. But he, remember for a little while, he had his show. I forgot about And he that. had like, uh, his wife was like his ex-wife and something I, like that. I he was living about. with a roommate. But that was, like that, nah, bro, it was funny, bro. Was it? Dog, it's Marlon, bro. Like. I don't remember it. Yeah, it had, and matter of fact, I think it was his real ex-wife, bro. It, knowing him, it probably was. Yeah, what's her name, man? It's, you remember uh, Deliver Us from Eva? Mm -hmm. You remember, uh, so it had, um, uh, help me out, brother. The main one that was Eva. Mm -hmm. Gabrielle Union. Yeah. Nigga, <laughs> you're like, uh, <laughs> Bro, don't no try help. To yeah, Gabrielle Union. It had the brown skinned girl. It had 
uh, Megan Good, and then the other light skinned girl. The light skinned girl, I think he actually was married to in real life. I'm about to look up the cast now. Yeah. Because I haven't seen Dolores and Eva <laughs> in so long. <laughs> uh, let me see. Yeah, that, that joke was hilarious, bro. Because, I mean, Marlon is fool, bro. Like, <laughs> and he was distracted up there, too, bro. I don't think anybody else, Essence. Essence Atkins? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's his ex-wife in real life. Crazy. <clears throat> but, yeah, bro. No, nah, that show was funny, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So, like, what are your top three black sitcoms, then? Hmm. We're going to go with Martin, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, bruh, Martin, the Fresh Prince. And um, the number three spot is crazy, ain't it? it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? Take a oh, let's see. Hmm. Let me think. What's another show that I was heavily invested in? It shows that I forgot about, bro, that I really used to sit down and really watch. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Remember Eve? Eve had her own show, bro. Oh, my God. EVE. I forgot and like, Eve had... Her Eve. name wasn't Eve on the show, How did which Eve was crazy. Show? <laughs> she had her own TV show. I forgot about LL that. LL Cool J had his own TV show. I used to watch that in the house. That's what it was called, bro. I used oh to watch God. in the house faithfully, God, bro. bro. And it was uh, Kim uh, Wayans was a co-star. She was like crazy neighbor or something like that. Bro, you are unlocking memories right now, bro. Jesus. <laughs> I probably haven't seen those Duh. since the 90s, bro. Duh, there was Smart Guy. Yeah. There was, uh, what other show, man? Well, I mean, Tia and Tamara, if you're going to mention Smart Guy. Oh, yeah. Dang. But, yeah. Because Smart Guy was essentially... Yeah. See, I'm trying to think of, a, like, gr like a more grown show, but, I mean... I mean not, it, bro, like, we watched all these shows. Yeah, Tia like, and Tamara, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, they, they're still black sick. What was the, what's the name of the show? Because I keep saying Tia and Tamara. Uh, sister, sister. Thank you, brother. Thank you, bro. What um, Monique had a show. Monique, the Parkers. The Parkers. The yeah. Parkers. Dang, mama. <laughs> Come and join us. I mean, then you had girlfriends. My girlfriends. <laughs> My girlfriends. <laughs> yeah, you had to hit that. <laughs> hey, the <Duh>, remember, <laughs> nigga, <Boy>. William. <laughs> <laughs> I used to feel so bad for William, bro. So, because they were his homies, but William was like, man, <laughs> William can stand them, bro. Bro, I felt he, he was fed up. They bro. got on his last nerve, but William was a nigga, bro. <laughs> he was, he almost lost it a few times, bro. Yeah, he was looking at yams, and he was like, <laughs> yeah. William was trying to play his position. Bro. Yeah, he was trying to chill, bro. Then he finally ended up hit, hooking up with Joan. In the show? Was it Joan or was it the other one? I think it was. No, it was Joan, bro. Did he? Yeah, bro. I think it was Joan, bro. Because it wasn't, um, I don't know the other girl name, man. Um, the tall, dark-skinned girl. And then, yeah, it wasn't the, the other light-skinned girl. Yeah, it was Joan, bro. <laughs> I gotta go back and watch Girlfriends. Hey, you know? bro. <laughs> Girlfriends had this one episode, bro. They had this one episode <laughs> where she ended up dating this dude. And I don't know if this was a blind date uh -huh. or what. But she ended up dating this dude. <laughs> but he was thick, bro. <laughs> <laughs> with, with two C's, bro. <laughs> what? No, and his, his shirt was tucked in, bro. He had the cakes, bro. And it was bothering Joan. She couldn't, she couldn't handle it, bro. She was just like, man, this is bothering me, man. Like, he a cool dude, but he caked up, bro. <laughs> man, that had me in tears, bro. She had to cut him off, man. She had to cut him off, bro. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> he had too much booty in the pants, bro. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, like sitcoms is off the chain, bro. <laughs> bro. I'm trying to think of the other shows, man, because there's more, bro. I, <laughs> I'm about to Google it. I need help. <laughs> Black sitcoms? <laughs> yep. Let's see. Oh, we're going, it's going to be on a laundry list that pop up. Let's see. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Black sitcoms. Let's go to the 90s. 
Living single. How was, we forget living single, say, bro? Yeah. No. Hanging with Mr. Cooper, bro. Jamie Foxx. Dog, course. how do... Hold on, man. Yeah, we, we bugging, bugging, bro. Yeah. The Wayans Brothers. Yeah, of course. I thought I, I thought I said that. Maybe I didn't. Dog. Yo, Keenan and Kel, bro. Yes. That has me weak to this day, bro. <laughs> Yo, hang, I used to actually watch Hanging with Mr. Cooper, bro. Like, faithfully. You know, Hanging with Mr. Cooper is one of those shows where it's like... It was like it was good, but yeah. like, because other ones were better. You'd rather watch the other shows. But yeah, if but you we, happen to see, Angle yeah, Cooper, then you locked in. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You it's locked like, in. It's cool. Uh, my brother, I, I barely Dog, remember this. I forgot about my, my brother, brother and, and me. me. I barely remember this, bro. Yo, my brother and me had a classic episode, bro. And I think um he got into it with uh I can't remember if it was a girl like this bully at school, yo. Yeah. But his brother was like, man, when you go up to you gotta be like, yo, hit me. <laughs> he was like, all right. So he came back, his eye was black. <laughs> he was like, what happened? He was like, man, I told him to hit me. What happened? He hit me. <laughs> yeah, I remember right when you said that, bro. Bro, and goo? Go punch. You remember the goo punch song? No. Oh my god, bro. We gonna listen to the goo punch song once it's over, bro. Yo, I goo was that man. The Steve Harvey show. True. I used to watch that faithfully, bro. Nigga, the Parenthood, bro. Yeah. Dog, the Parenthood was wild, bro. You know how the Parenthood was wild? Hmm. <laughs> Robert Townsend had to be the director for this, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why, bro. Cause in the intro, I don't think I've ever seen <laughs> an intro like this ever, bro. When it can, especially when it comes to black people expressing physical affection on TV. Mm -hmm. Usually when they kiss, it's a little, all right, honey, ah, I mean, dog, on the intro, bro, they was locking, and it almost made you feel uncomfortable, you I know mean, what I'm saying? I mean, bro, we, we niggas, though, so. No, bro. The lips. No, nah, bro, this wasn't, this wasn't, bro, this wasn't happening on family shows like that, especially in the intro, mm -hmm. especially with the mom and dad of the show bro mm. like it was always like you know the teenagers get a girlfriend uh -huh. you see them making out you know what i'm saying marlon and you know uh his brother sean you know they in yeah. their 20s they kissing women but <laughs> the yeah. parenthood I, they was going in bro in the I intro bro i forgot about the parenthood bro man i forgot about malcolm and eddie bro I, yeah, you know, Malcolm and Eddie was mid, man. Dog, you crazy, bro. It was it Malcolm was... and Eddie was hilarious, dog. Maybe I gotta go back and watch it, bro. Dog, Eddie Griffin used to have me crying, bro. As a kid. Maybe I don't I'm know why I was so entertained. Right? Yeah, man. I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch it. Dog, that joint was funny. It's, that joint was stupid funny, bro. Did you ever watch this show? Um What is that? Uh oh no, that's not the show I'm talking yeah, about. I'm about to say, yeah, I was living single, dog. <laughs> Dang, what was the show, man, with the two, uh... Ah. Alright, so it's a light-skinned girl that was in Half-Baked with Dave Chappelle. Uh-huh. Then she had her own show where she was like a sis... Like, she had a sister, and... What was it called? Is it something half and half or something like that? I mean, it ain't showing up in the 90s sitcoms, bro. <laughs> on, bro. I don't got nothing for you. Nah, bro, it's the 90s. Hold on. Uh, half baked. Half baked cast. Cast. Booyah, Rachel True. Movies and shows. What's the show? Half and Half. Yeah, that's the name of the show. Do you remember this? I don't think I ever watched that. that Shorty actually, Essence Atkins was her sister. Uh, yeah, I never watched. Yeah, they had this nigga. He played the character named Spencer. Yo, you probably ain't <laughs> seen none of that, bro. No, nah, I, I don't think I've ever seen Half and Half. Yeah, but that was another show. But anyway, she was in CB4. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's wild. She was in the craft. Yo, the craft was. All right, I ain't trying to jump subjects, but the craft was crazy, bro. Back then, bro. Yeah, you know I, what I'm saying. I, I never saw it, but I, I was told. You never saw the craft. Never. That's wild, bro. I don't know what it was, but in the 90s, bro, it was like a strong like obsession with like witchcraft and Ouija boards. Yeah, and, and it's like I heard like I've heard about the movie. I heard yeah. that like it was it was lit, but like yeah. but you know what that is interesting, but I don't know why that is in the 90s, bro, cuz it's like growing up, I mean, how, there was a huge emphasis on Halloween. Yeah. Really the holidays in general, bro. Yeah. But yeah, like how no, people used to Halloween was used like to, a holiday holiday, dog, bro. Yeah, they used to go all out, bro. Dog. 
though. It wasn't soft like it oh is now. God, right. They'd be like, yeah, you, we're going to start in the daytime, and then you got to stop at a certain time. Bro, they was out there to 1, 2 in the morning, bro. bro. <laughs> As and, a child and on top getting of that, candy. Bro, they was telling them every year, like, you know, make sure you check uh, on the news. Like, make sure you check for razor blades. We knew to check. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We didn't to just bite it. It was like, <laughs> like we were searching, bro. Because <laughs> they were like, yo, we make sure. Because that was something you had to be conscious of, bro. They just told us, like, hey, just watch out. If you get fruit, don't eat it. Because what kind of weirdo gives out fruit? Like, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, bro, okay, wait a minute. Speaking of Halloween, I mean, it is October, so it is, it is fitting, bro. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you, bro. Bobbing for apples is something that as a kid you don't fully think you about. Don't grasp. But as an adult. <laughs> bobbing for apples is absolutely disgusting, disgusting bro. bro and every time i saw somebody like at, you know see shows and stuff you're yeah. like, oh that looks awesome it looks fun nigga so <laughs> it was all for the games until it was really like yo okay we bobbing for apples this is why kids get sick the way they do bro this is why we survived COVID, bro. because <laughs> <laughs> they ain't doing this no more bro facts dog so we were at um this uh, kid I grew up with, like his, like his parents, they used to have like all the festivities. Like they were yeah. the same ones that were like, you know, they would go out because they were like they were hunters. They go out and hunt. We have like fish fries. Like it was, it was amazing, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like it was, it was just like that. They were straight up country, like mm -hmm. straight up rednecks. You know what I'm saying. They were like the best people ever, yo. So they're they got everything set up for Halloween. They invite all the neighborhood kids over, right? Yeah. They have this, you know the. The uh, first of all, I don't even know where you get these, bro. That's how I know they were country, bro. Because they had like the big silver, like just like yeah, yeah. I'm like, where do you even get one of those, bro? I don't even yeah, know what they're called. Yeah. I don't know what they're used for, it's but like, they have one. It's like they used them back in the day for washing black babies. Yeah, bro. But it's like, <laughs> why do y'all have? How did? Where? Okay. But in there, I see the water and I see the apples. Yeah. So I'm excited. I'm like, oh, we about to buy for apples. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I was hyped, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was hyped until we started. Yeah. And then I was like, I looked and I was like, oh, they got their mouth open. <laughs> and what made it worse is the niggas won't get no apples. <laughs> they just had their mouth open. They, they set a timer, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, to see how many you can get. Yeah. I'm like, yo, they ain't, why they ain't getting no apples? I was like, oh, so these in there with their mouth open. Oh. You know what I'm saying? And the one kid in particular, it's like, you know how it's like, you know, as a kid, like you might share drinks, share cups, but it's always that one kid that like won't nobody share nothing with. Yeah. He was next. Yeah. He was in there, bro. I was like, oh my god! In my brain, I was like, this is disgusting. I was like, I was com I was conflicting. So I was like, dog, I've been waiting my whole life to buy for apples. But I was like, but he in there, bro, and he just in there. But I don't even know if he's trying to get the apple at this point. He's just in there with his mouth open, dog. Yo. And then it was my turn, and I was like. I think I was like fifth. Yeah. So I'm like, it was four other kids before me, bro. Bottom for apples, bro. I ain't never want them to get an apple, dog. Man. But I was like, I got to go for it, though. <laughs> I don't remember if I got an apple or not. I think I, I might have. I didn't get an apple, bro. Oh, you Dude. bought for apples, too? Yeah, that's why I'm over here weak. Because <laughs> I, realized, I realized how disgusting it was, bro. Like, listen, man. I had the full experience, bro. Like, my childhood was amazing, bro. Mm -hmm. Until about... 11 mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying <laughs> but <laughs> before that you know what i'm saying it was awesome dog you know what i'm saying like they had a halloween party i actually got this on tape you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> but they had a halloween party at the like community center mm -hmm. in the middle of the apartments i was staying or whatever and yeah you know what i'm saying they had that big <laughs> metal tub mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and yeah they had the apples bro and i walked in i seen that joint i was like oh yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean but it didn't hit me till after the fact how nasty that was bro <laughs> yeah man it's disgusting bro dog yeah man i was like a ninja bro for like <laughs> a good f three four years straight bro <laughs> Dang, you... yeah bro martial arts dog i was like i want to be a ninja either a ninja or like dracula the first time the first time i was dracula bro listen i was three i was three years old bro i was this might have been like the, my first halloween you know yeah. what i'm saying where i was gonna go out trick-or-treating and all that bro uh -huh. And my pops, you know, he did my makeup, right? Uh -huh. So I'm like three years old. I'm like, yeah, I want to be a vampire. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nigga, it was like a movie, bro. 
<laughs> this is how you know, bro. I was never meant to be a thug or gangster or none yeah. of that, bro. Dog looked in the mirror, bro. My pops did a hell of a job, bro. <laughs> Nigga, I look terrifying, bro. <laughs> I'm three years old. I'm never... <laughs> I see my face... <clears throat> You know what I mean? My face is white. I got dark circles under my eyes, and I got blood on my mouth, bro. Yeah. And dog, uh, outside, I heard, I hear somebody scream. A girl at the top of their lungs, bro. Ah! Like in the horror movies. Yeah. Nigga. <laughs> I felt horrible, bro. I was like, oh my God, I'm evil, bro. I don't want to be a vampire. I don't want to hurt nobody. You know what I mean? I was like, I don't want to hurt nobody. I got quiet. My pops, my mom, you know, they like happy, like, yes, yeah, bitch. You know what I mean? And I just got quiet and I got extremely like, like this concerned look on my face. And they trying to figure out, like, what's wrong? You know what I mean? I was like, I don't want to hurt nobody. <laughs> Dog. Yeah, man. I, I had a good heart, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My heart was pure, bro. I thought that I was really a vampire, bro. And I was like, I'm about to go out here and I'm about to bite somebody on the side of the neck, bro. Well, I'm glad you did. <laughs> Tears in the side of the bike. <laughs> and they're like, you'll get your kid. I don't want to do it. Ah, they're like, what the hell? Wrong with this? Like, you didn't get your kid. <laughs> Look, the little plastic vampire teeth be folding up. Because you know it won't really strong uh, for real, bro. Dog. Uh, <laughs> you got me thinking now, bro. I know I know, I was a vampire one time. Nigga, I had a cape and everything. Bro. I don't remember I had the bow tie. <laughs> nigga, I was too happy to be in the as a kid, bro. No, listen, bro. <laughs> Some things is just not for us. <laughs> hey, yo, I know what you <laughs> I can't get it out. Hold on, man. I'm in tears. Yo, being, being a vampire, a black kid in the 90s. Mm. What? Mm. <laughs> Chill, man. We want to be a vampire, bro. It was not for us at all, bro. Nigga. <laughs> Uh, I had a white button up, bro, <laughs> with a cape, and he, and then why, <laughs> why the stores costumes don't never look like you do in the picture, <laughs> nigga. They ain't even give me no slacks. <laughs> they gave me these pants. <laughs> Thin material pants. Oh. And nigga, that stop. Right in my ankles, bro. <laughs> Man, I had these big British knights on. Bro. <laughs> oh, my face. Nigga, who? who <laughs> <laughs> what type of vampire? <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Oh. What type of vampire was I supposed to be? It's like I run up on somebody. Oh. <laughs> Nigga. Bro, they ain't put your parents ain't put you on the They could at least gave me some dress shoes. They ain't give me no dress shoes or nothing, bro. <laughs> 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 Yo, ah, stomach hurt, man. I'm out oh. here, bro. <laughs> With some white sneakers, bro. Oh, I'm out here with some oh. white sneakers, bro. <laughs> With some red lips, bro. <laughs> and, and a white face, bro. Uh, Dog, bro, it won't for us, shoes. bro. Van being a vampire why won't for us, bro. Shoes, bro. Black people didn't look cool being oh, a vampire God. back then, man. And the guy had the 80s fro when I was a vampire. <laughs> 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 the 80s Me bro. too, bro. I ain't had no edge up, dog. I ain't even have an edge up, bro. 
<laughs> oh my god, I'm in tears, it, man. It wasn't for us, bro. It wasn't, bro. <laughs> Blade had to come along and You know what I'm saying? If Blade was who we were supposed who, to be. That's who we were supposed to be, dog, with the leather vest. Hey, what, if, what if Blade started off like that as a kid? <laughs> <laughs> he, was like, he was like, nah. <laughs> I'm going to fix this, bro. It was the exact same way, bro. <laughs> oh, Blade, man. Look, Wesley Snipes, we appreciate you from the heart, bro. Because yeah. you broke the curse. You broke the chain. Because you know. You made it cool for black people to be vampires again, black bro. Black parents won't spend no money on Halloween costumes. No, nah, bro. bro. You won't. won't no, nah, you won't get in that official <laughs> Hollywood makeup, it bro. It never gonna happen, bro. You was about to look like a homeboy vampire. <laughs> <laughs> That part looks like I, those casual shoes Friday. <laughs> Nigga had on blue jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga had on like the '80s blue jeans, <laughs> bugle boy blue jeans. <laughs> Think you want the brown with the belt, bro? And a oh, cape. Oh. You got on a black thin cape, bro. Why were our parents so cheap? They could have gave us a real outfit. They could have. They could have, bro. You put me in a suit, man. Yeah, put me in a black pictures, suit. Bro. They took pictures of us, bro. They did, bro. They took pictures. Dog. Oh, my God, man. Son. Oh, my God, man. Dog. Whew. Bro. I ain't doing my kids like that, bro. Nah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> nah, I can't, bro. I, <laughs> I can't, bro. Man, what type of vampire was that, bro? <laughs> oh my bro, god, bro, why man! Why the same story, bro? Because every vampire I seen with the same, bro. <laughs> painted our faces white. Duh, my man Phil, bro. Man, when I was, oh, oh, man, we like ghetto mimes, bro. <laughs> 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 we look like mimes, bro. Dog, the scariest I looked is when I was like three, bro. You oh. know what I'm saying? When I was three, I looked terrifying, bro. But after that, <laughs> nigga had on bugle boy jeans <laughs> 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 and some British knights. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro. Mm. Oh my god, man. So, <laughs> and a, a white polo with a cape <laughs> on the back and a white face with red lips. Some vampire teeth. So were you only a vampire and a ninja? Or like, did you have other costumes? Um, I think so. I think I was... Once I got older, it was just kind of like vampire and ninja. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. I think when I was younger... You know what I mean? Your parents dress you up different stuff, you know what yeah. I mean? I think I was like a clown one year and but that's when I was like mad small, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but yeah, I don't think uh I can't remember any other outfits that I had, bro. It's like everybody <laughs> had the same childhood, bro. Right? <laughs> so Lord Jesus. Oh my head hurts, bro. <laughs> but I know I was no I was a ninja one year. Um I think the very first Halloween I remember, I wanna say I was Robin Hood. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga had the sword and everything, bro. <clears throat> nigga, I thought I was the man, bro. Oh. No, was it Robin Hood? No, no, no. Wait, was it Robin Hood? Nigga, was it Robin Hood or Peter Pan, nigga? <laughs> I don't know. It was I'm green, bro. I feel like I wanted to be Peter Pan one time, bro, but I can't. I can barely remember. No, it was Robin Hood, yo. It was Robin Hood. That's okay. what it was. So it was Robin Hood. I couldn't remember because both the outfits was green. So I was Robin Hood one year. I know I was a ninja one year. I can't remember what year that was. I know I was a pirate another year. I'm trying to think what else. I actually have a picture of me as a pirate. I think I was a football player. Or was that my little brother? I don't remember. Yeah. But Halloween was lit, bro. Yeah. It was different back then, man. It was mobs of kids, bro. Oh my you know God. what I'm saying? This is pre this is pre hood. You know what I mean? This is pre hood spits. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. This was you know how remember on uh What's the what's the movie? The Halloween movie, bro. Hocus Pocus. Yeah, remember how Hocus Pocus was? Oh my God. That's exactly how it was, bro. When I was a kid, bro. bro Hocus Pocus <clears throat> encapsulates that yeah, time period. It does, bro. It's immortal. <laughs> you remember the jeans that he had on, him, bro? Yeah, shut up. Bro. I'm not angry, man. Shut up, bro. Remember the jeans? Oh my God. A <laughs> big brother Max it was yeah. Max. <laughs> he had on bugle, them bugle boy jeans and the white shoes. That was the same jeans I had on, bro. But yeah, that was before. Now when I went to the hood, it was a completely different experience. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> bro, they'll never get out of the good candy, bro. 
they yeah. always give out like the small bite size. Bro. I mean, they be taking all the good ones for themselves. Oh man, dog, bro, you remember, bro? We gotta talk about this, bro. I don't know what they changed, bro. But do you remember how good M and M's used to be, bro? Yes, M and M's used to. I don't know, bro. It was like. <laughs> it was like they took the chocolate from a chocolate land, bro. Like dog. a far away, bro. I forgot we had talked about this before, bro. dog. <clears throat> the Mars commercials, because I remember distinctly. Just your mic, bro. Your mic is putting. <laughs> hey, yo. Pause. <laughs> 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 it's like there's no, there's no, there's no good way to do it, bro. You just gotta, just, you just gotta grab it. You just gotta move it. Well, I got lit in my beer boards. Is this a gray hair? Or is it lit? I can't tell because the light. I can't. It's probably gray hair. Yeah. Yeah, stressed out. And it's salt and peppers. That's salt and peppers. Salt you know and pepper <laughs> they starting to kick in. Bro, what are you talking about? Just, I got distracted by four different things, bro. <laughs> the mic and then gray hair thinking it's lint. What was yeah. it talking about? I feel like we were still talking about Halloween. Probably so. I don't remember what I was saying, but I do know that Halloween was lit, bro. Yeah. Like, Hocus Pocus is probably one of my favorite like seasonal movies ever. Yeah. Like every year, bro. Yeah. Like Hocus Pocus will be played in my house, bro. Yeah, it has to happen. And the second one was dope too. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like, you know, yeah, but but it was like yeah. it was entertaining enough. It made it, it brought was. back the feels. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean nothing's ever gonna touch the first one. Nah. I put a spell on you. Man. Yeah. That middler, bro. Yeah. She bro, I'm like, she ain't had to do nothing else, bro. Man, that they was... need to give her like an Oscar for that, bro. You know what I mean? They need to give her her flowers, bro. They do. <clears throat> that middler body that, bro. Yeah, she did. Dog. Freaking, uh, who else was in that? Uh, Sarah, Sarah Jessica Parker. Yeah, she was in it. <clears throat> yeah, I can't remember all those names. Bro, but that was like the perfect 90s movie, bro. It was yeah. adventure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you was on a time limit yeah. to get stuff done. Yeah. You know what I mean? Bro, it was awesome, bro. Yeah, man. It was some crazy uh, movies that just encapsulated the time, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ninja Turtles, all of that. Adventures in Babysitting, bro. (laughs) That movie is off the chain, bro. Oh, that's what it's called? Yeah. Have you seen it? I don't think so. But I might have. um, The same dude that that offed himself a full metal jacket was actually in that movie. Hmm. And he looks complete. Like, you wouldn't recognize him if you didn't know him. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yo, Adventures in Babysitting is probably, like... It like it captures like the the essence of the eighties. Mm-hmm. Like it's a dope. You've never seen it? No, I don't think so, bro. Man, all right, bro. We gonna have to make a, a date and time to watch that. Adventures of Babysitting is off the chain, bro. All right. Um, I'm trying to think, man. Like, I'm trying to think what other season the movies. So, I don't even know if they still play it on the air, bro. But you remember um, the stop motion like Christmas movies they would play. Like uh, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, yeah, yeah, like yeah, Frosty and all that, yeah, 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 bro, those were lit, bro. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't know it was so old though, bro. Duh. bro, they made those in the sixties, bro. For real? Yeah, <laughs> and they had a graphics, <laughs> bro, because <laughs> it wasn't a cartoon. You know what yeah, I'm saying? It was little stop motion. Yeah, you know how long it takes to do that? Duh. they must have had a lot of time. Animators had a long, <laughs> their job was like really meticulous, bro. Yeah, dog, and they used to do it, bro. For us, facts, bro. Hey, that dude, Yukon Cornelius, and hey, he was black for real, for real, bro. Because you know, he's trying to get to that silver, bro. <laughs> that nigga, he's like, silver. <laughs> he was just trying to get paid, bro. <laughs> bro. Hey, but that man took the abominable snowman out, bro. And <laughs> hey, they thought he was gone, bro. And Yukon Cornelius was a real one, bro. Yo. I used to feel stressed for Rudolph, bro. <laughs> they used to do Rudolph so dirty, man. Mm. He came back styling on him, bro. Facts, bro. <laughs> styling on him mm. and blinging on him, man. Rudolph is the Joseph of Reindeers, bro. <laughs> he is, bro. You know what I'm saying? He is, man. Dog. See, I'm thinking about... Now I'm like, I'm in the holiday mood, bro. I know. Because, I mean, it is that time. Yeah, but you, you know, know I mean? it's just so much stuff be going on, bro. That's yeah. like, and time be moving so fast that it's like you don't even realize. Man, if our parents, shout out to our parents, bro, because they got that right, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not to mean they ain't get nothing else right, but yeah. I'm just saying when it came to holidays, oh, yeah, they, they, did. they felt like holidays, bro. They felt like whatever it was, whatever was going on, you felt it. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I'm I'm going to I'm gonna start taking holidays more serious me too man like after like just talking and thinking about it it's yeah, like man bro. we really need to like yeah man we got to be more festive yeah yeah 100 percent. you know what i'm saying we're gonna i don't know throw some parties or something we threw some parties y'all, would y'all come the five of y'all you know what i'm saying <laughs> <I have to laughs> you know what i mean pull up 
You know yeah, what I'm, I'm saying? <laughs> we gonna have your kids bobbing for apples. You know? <laughs> Ah. Them kids might die nowadays, bro. Yeah, man. See, now we gotta now we gotta be uh, suited for the occasion, bro. Whenever we do the podcast, bro. True. You know, what and man? we should. <clears throat> yeah, we got we got two weeks, <clears throat> bro. You know what? I always wanted to be like as an adult, like when I got older for Halloween. I want to be a stormtrooper. <laughs> Wait, what? I want to be a stormtrooper, bro. <laughs> a stormtrooper? Yes. What you mean, a stormtrooper, bro? I want to dress up as a stormtrooper. Was that a show? Like, because well, I'm bro. lost, bro. A I'm lost. Stormtrooper? Stormtrooper. Stormtrooper. Yeah, like a literal stormtrooper. Yes, I want to dress up as a stormtrooper. <laughs> you I are need, not about. I am, because I need to see. Spencer. <laughs> Spencer. I'm about to look up what a stormtrooper is. Oh, okay. Why didn't you say Star Wars? Because it's a stormtrooper, bro. Duh. <laughs> I'm getting old, bro. My mind don't work like that, man. <laughs> it was completely left. In my mind, I'm like, what is he talking about? He's talking about being out in the forest with a big hat on? Like, what are you talking about, bro? Lord. All right, word. It makes sense now. Yeah, man. Yeah. Man, you need some vitamins. <laughs> Dog, what? I bet. Yeah, yeah I don't I mean, know if I'm gonna be able to pull it off this year, but yeah, I want to. Thirty dollars. <laughs> see, that's this one. <laughs> you see, you see the difference. You see the difference. Hold on, man. Hold on. I gotta go to. Look, hold on, man. Y'all see this? Now y'all see how this looks, right? But by the time you get it, booyah. That nigga don't look like no stormtrooper. <laughs> why is why his hair sticking out the top? Why bro? the pants bag your one knee? <laughs> See, he got the whole helmet bro, on. This is how they used to do us in the 90s, bro. Go to the first picture, bro. No. That first picture, you like, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna be a stormtrooper. I'm gonna have armor. You go to the next picture, you get it, nigga, you got MC Hammer pants, bro. <laughs> what, what kind of shoes is he wearing, bro? Dog, I don't even know what that is, bro. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> disrespect, bro. Yeah, man. See, that's what we used to have to go through, bro. That's exactly what it used to be like, man. See, this is why people cosplay now as adults, bro. <laughs> and they do. Because cause... they had to go through this, bro. They grew up in the 80s and 90s, bro. This is what they had to deal with. This is with, why bro. they be going spending thousands of dollars to look like the real Iron Man, bro. I'm about to spend thousands of dollars, bro. Because I'm looking at this like, bro, this is how we was living, bro. Look, I'm be sitting up in a makeup chair for seven hours, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, make me a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> I come here and scare the hell out of Shannon, bro. <laughs> Shannon been stabbed me in the chest multiple times, man. Oh my god, yeah, bro. Man. I think I don't know, bro. I think I think I might uh what what day does Halloween <laughs> fall on this year? Uh Halloween is gonna be on <laughs> I was about to say the thirty first. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. It's on a Tuesday. Boo. Trash, bro. Boo. Whack, man. Yeah, man. I don't know. We gonna... Why don't they keep Halloween on the same day like they do Thanksgiving, bro? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Halloween makes more sense on the weekends or on Friday. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Halloween on the Tuesday is just weird, bro. It like, is, I feel bro. like growing up, Halloween was never... I mean, it obviously it had to be, but I feel like it was always on the weekend. I know, man. <gasps> but it's like I do remember being in school and, like... You know, you get hyped because, you know, it's Halloween, so, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You about to go home. Like, yeah, ain't no homework. It better not be no homework tonight, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna go crazy in this drink, bro. Try to give us some homework on Halloween day, bro. Dog, I used to, my mom used to put the candy underneath, like, the the um, the um bottom cabinet. It's like, okay, don't eat it. <laughs> yeah, right. how you gonna tell me? Because, you know, you don't think about things till you're a parent. Yeah. I didn't realize how much my mom left me alone, bro. Yeah. She must have been over it. Because, you know, my mom's an introvert. <laughs> so she had to be over me, bro. I remember distinctly, bro. It was a Saturday, bro. She's just upstairs, bro. And I'm downstairs. I got a TV. I was like, I'm about to eat this candy. Bro. <laughs> no, I'm crushed by half that bag, bro. But you know, you always leave the little nasty candies, bro. Who, yeah. it's, I think this is made by Tesco. Those chalk tablets. Why do people have those? Bro, Why I, do people buy them, bro? bro? I don't eat those. I don't eat the Whoppers, the chocolate Whoppers. Whoppers are actually pretty good. Dog, them joints used to tear my stomach up, bro. Really? Yeah, I'll have the bubble guts. <laughs> I stay far away from them, bro. <laughs> like, get this false chocolate away from me. Dog, I used to, bro, I used to live for the Skittles, bro. Yeah, man. 
Skittles used to be A1. <clears throat> the M&Ms were A1. Yeah. Bro, and you remember the distinct smell that yeah. candy had, like, in the bags and stuff in the 90s, bro? Yeah. They don't smell like that no more, bro. <laughs> they stopped giving us real candy a long time ago, bro. <laughs> they was like, this is a candy look like. Bro, facts. We I mean, eating, <laughs> we eating candles, bro. <laughs> the rappers probably smelled that good because they were toxic. But I'm like, yeah, I mean, we can feel a little toxicity. No, nah, man. Dog. Yeah, man. Them M&M's used to be double, double coated, bro. Maybe that's what I was talking about, bro. Them M&M's, bro. The, that's what I was talking about. The Mars commercial, bro. There was a Mars commercial. And I, it probably came out in the 80s, bro. Mm -hmm. Maybe 80s or like early, early 90s. But it was like them in a field, bro. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> and I don't remember what happened after that. But, bro, that was when M&M's were at their peak, bro. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. But now it's like, it, I don't know, bro. It's like, it tastes like they got low self-confidence. <laughs> I mean, they're good. But like it's just like they don't believe in themselves anymore, yeah, bro. Yeah, man, it ain't it ain't the flavorful, yeah, mouth watering like, like that. That was chocolate, chocolate. Yeah, bro. man. Like they spent yeah. money on that. Yeah, and they must have realized we're spending too much money. <laughs> <laughs> they, they stopped giving them the either that or you know I I do know for a fact why stuff doesn't taste the way it used to though. Like certain things, mm -hmm. and that's because like kids stopped going outside and like childhood obesity became a thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, okay. I'm like, you're a parent. Your kid, you can make your kid go outside. Yeah. Like, leave them out there. Like, yeah. if, they, if they don't want them to come in, leave them out there, bro. Yeah. So I'm like, now my Hawaiian punch tastes like somebody swished it around in the oh mouth. Oh, my God. And spit it back out <laughs> because your kid fat. And, and mixed it with toothpaste. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, we was good with Surge, bro. Yeah. You I'm know like, what I'm saying? Dog, and we love the chunky kids. That was one of us, bro. It was it was like, yo, okay, cool. We ain't we ain't looking at that. And he's out here playing. Bro, and I was gonna say, no, bro, I mean, we filling the me, team up, bro. We need him, bro. bro. I was gonna say, <laughs> can you come outside? Bro, exactly, dog. You chunky, who? You put them on a football team, bro. You, you I bet you don't want to be on the other side. Listen, bro. I, Thanks, man. Some of the heaviest kids. The biggest kids were the most athletic, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, so what is like why you gotta take the sugar out of stuff, bro? It's because the parents messed up, bro. I'm putting this on Gen X, bro. This is their fault, bro. This is them, dog. You know not I mean? monitoring their kids, bro. <laughs> like now we gotta suffer as adults because everybody wanna take the sugar out of stuff. You know what I'm saying? No, look, the main I'm the main one talking other people, you black people diseases with diabetes and the sugars. <laughs> and I'm over here complaining they don't took the sugar out of everything, bro. <laughs> It should be our choice. <laughs> pro choice. That's what I'm pro choice about. Sugar. <laughs> my body, my choice. It's facts, bro. Sugar. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, bro. Boy. Yeah, they they took sugar out of a lot of stuff. Like they reduced the amount. So I'm just like, you don't realize like how like good sugar <laughs> <laughs> makes things, bro. The Pepsi tasted different. Everything yeah. was just like, bro. It was like, yeah, <laughs> it was amazing. Pizza Hut used to taste different, bro. Dog, they be changing up all them ingredients, Yo, man. Little Caesars, like the deep dishes, the deep dishes fire now. Yeah, but bro, you remember how good Little Caesars used to be back in the day, bro? Yeah, dog. Little Caesars was a one, bro. Dog, they used to <laughs> all. The, that's when pizza places used to put real cheese on it. <laughs> you could tell, bro. Like, bro, remember how pizza that used to look, bro? That cheese was thick and white, bro, and it was melting. Dog, it, the pizza would look literally like how the Ninja Turtles would hold their pizza. Up, yeah, bro. that's what got me stuck on pizza bro the ninja turtles bro you know what i'm saying it was like once i seen them 90s new york pizzas yeah i was like oh this is amazing bro. <laughs> fags bro because now I'm, I'm trying to think because now i think about it bro it's been a minute since i picked up a piece of pizza and like the strings was hanging off bro. yeah no nah, that ain't just Lord, they, this, we're dr umar, <laughs> umar we about must this. stay focused my brothers we must <laughs> stay focused i'm like umar dr umar <laughs> what happened to the cheese <laughs> i'm gonna tell you what happened my brother <laughs> <laughs> like dr umar wasn't the white man umar who was it do you know that cheese is actually not bad for the black man <laughs> and then he'd be like, well, actually, how they make it now is terrible for the black man, brother. I'd be like, man, if you don't give me a straight answer, I'm going to pull your ankles out from under you. If you don't tell me what happened to the cheese, yo. Yo. Oh, my God. Yeah, man. Mm. Things were different back then, bro. They were, bro. 
And I'm just like, things have changed a lot in such a short amount of time, comparatively speaking. I see why these kids be depressed. <laughs> and the food don't be good. You know, and the snacks don't be good. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, dog, they don't have none of those experiences, bro, bro. I'll never forget. Like, so I think my first two years, either my first year or first two years, I think it was like my first year and a half of high school, yo. Like, they had all the regular snacks, like all yeah. the sugary snacks, all the sugary drinks. Like, bro, I was Pepsi Blue and Hot Fries, bro. I was living on the jank, bro. Dog. Cruising, bro. Dog, I used to crush the cans of high C. Remember when they had the, they had the, the oh, uh, yeah. soda machine, yeah, you can get high C out them joints, and C. it was fire, bro. I used to crush them. That was my go-to, bro. Man, listen, I think it was midway through my sophomore year, they made the announcement, like, yeah, we putting healthy snacks in the vending machine. I was like, what? <laughs> Dog, all of a sudden we seen Lay's baked chips. <laughs> I was like, it was just <laughs> they saw an increase in crime in, the house, in school dropouts, in depression in kids. That's when they realized, like, yeah, we just got to cut them off. Bro. We got a cold turkey. <laughs> it's going to be bad, but we can get through this, guys. Man, I was, bro, I was hurt, bro. People was fighting. They didn't know why they was fighting because they ain't getting no sugar no more, bro. Man, fact. <laughs> Niggas was having a shake. Dog, can you imagine, though, not knowing? You know what I'm saying? Like, you not, like, you don't understand why people are having an attitude. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You just like, yo, something ain't right. <laughs> Dog, them vending machines was life, bro. But you know what? I realized something just now, bro. The reason why I eat peanut M&Ms to this day, bro, is because yeah. that was one of the few things that was left in the vending machines, bro. True. Now that I think it was peanut M&Ms, I don't know why they left hot fries in there. And I don't remember what drinks they used to have. But ginger ale, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. I mean, ginger ale is a black staple, regardless. Yeah. Like, it's, it's going to be there. Yeah. But yeah, that's the reason why you pin the to this day, bro. Because they took everything else. It's like in prison song, bro, where they took the weights. <laughs> it's like, dog, you know how they freaked out, bro? That's how I was feeling, bro. I was like, I can't believe y'all did this to me, bro. This is part of how I was making it through the day. And now I got to deal with y'all sugar free. <laughs> I don't want to do this, bro. <laughs> I don't want to deal with y'all like this. I need Facts. drugs, bro. <laughs> Give me the sugar, bro. Facts, bro. Facts, man. I had a time check. <laughs> but, bro, I got to, I don't know. I feel like we're going to do something for Halloween, though. I don't know. We're probably going to dress Zipporah up. I don't know what she wants to be. True. She might want to be a skeleton because that's her favorite show right now. <laughs> you, should make her, you should make her a cross between a skeleton and give her them Afro puffs. I probably will. Because she'd be trying to say skeletons. She'd be like, skate! Like, okay, get that. You know what I'm saying? So we're probably going to dress her like that for Halloween. Lord. But no, we definitely, after this conversation, bro, like, I'm definitely going to be a lot more festive. Like, I'm going to decorate and do things. Yeah, man. I, I feel the same way, bro. You know what I mean? Because <clears throat> it's just something about that, especially, like, coming up as a kid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, like, the world be so serious now, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the world be so serious, man. These kids be having to worry about way too much, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Got the world on their shoulders, man. Too much pressure, bro. Speaking of, bro, it was on the news, bro. Like people are up in arms about this, uh, this, uh, these Halloween decorations, bro. They were bodies, bro. Mm -hmm. And in the bodies, they were, um, they were uh, basically they were like wrapped up. And I think they just had them like hanging from a tree or whatever, but it wasn't like, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. It won't like niggas hanging. From yeah. you, you know what that is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? When you see that, it's like, <laughs> it's, I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it won't that. You can yeah. tell, like, it was just like, you know, bodies wrapped up. With people like, trying to trip. It's like, like, man, chill, bro. They were like, it's, oh, they, people call the police. It's like, there's, I don't like this, like, basically dead bodies hanging from, like, I'm like, it's, it's Halloween. It's Halloween, bro. <sighs> Oh, my God, I man. don't know when people became like this, bro. Duh. Like, do you know? Like, bro, remember what, on Mineola, people, bro? bro? You remember on Mineola, that one house, bro? Yeah. That went all out for every single holiday. Duh, they bro. had <laughs> graves, <laughs> cobwebs. I'm like, how'd y'all get up there on regular trees outside? Bro, I'm like, look, you growing up, bro. Listen, I was scared to death, bro, because it was a dude, bro. That nigga, like, he was decapitated, bro. <laughs> Like in an old farmer costume. Like, he looked like he spent all day doing this, bro. Duh. This older white dude, bro. He was sitting there. Yeah. And I, I thought it was just like, he was 
was bro, he was made up so well, bro, yeah. that he looked like a decoration, bro. Yeah. And I see the house, I see the lights on, I see the candy sitting there. My mom was like, go to the house. I was like, all right. Bro, I'm walking to the house, he came alive, bro. I said, ah! <laughs> Yo. Man, I still want to get that candy, though. First of but all. But he scared me to death, bro. Yeah, man. First of all, they're going to rob, you know what I'm saying, adults of being able to enjoy scaring the oh living daylights out of God. little kids, bro. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> dog, they used to have a blast, bro. Yes. They loved it, bro. It'd be that one old white dude, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's like, ha ha, I can't wait. <laughs> bro, every neighborhood had one, bro. It was the same one. How the, dog, bro. Dog, when I was all right, so when I was real small, I lived in the country, bro. This dude, man, he would come out the bushes, bro, with a chainsaw, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? He had a chainsaw with the chain off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you don't know. All you is... Ha, nigga. <laughs> Dog, my heart would drop to my whole ankles, bro. But he did that same thing, bro. He used to chill on the porch. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I think he was like uh, supposed to be like a scarecrow or something, but he was just uh -huh. like... You know, the scarecrow was sitting out there the whole week. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he was like, I'm going to get him. Dog. He he got everybody except me, bro. The only reason he didn't get me because he chose not to get me, bro. He busted out <laughs> laughing because he, he knew. He was like, he seen me. He, and I was just, I, I just had no idea, bro. I'm like reaching in the bucket. He holding the bucket, bro. I think he just started laughing to himself, bro. It still scared me a little bit, bro. <laughs> He was like, man, I can't do a dispense, man. man. I'm going to let him live, bro. God God bless them, man. You, there's no way. <laughs> they prepared you for the real world, Facts, bro. bro. When people jump out of the bushes on you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dog, when I say he got... Bro, this man was committed, bro. I'm talking about his, his legs were straight out, bro. Head like this. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I think he was a scarecrow, bro. But he was, you know, he had the overalls on. Like, now that I think about it, he was. He had, like, the straw come out. It's like, and, he had the man, and you couldn't see. It was like, yo, he was just laying there. Yeah. Because you know how it looks when you stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if he stuffed his legs. I don't know what he, bro. I don't know what this man did, bro. It looked like it took him some time to do this. Bro. Yeah. Dog, but the setup was perfect, bro. <laughs> Dog, I was terrified, bro. <laughs> I had to go get that candy, though. He had the good candy, too. Yeah. <laughs> it was worth it. It was worth the little heart attack I had. Bro, I used to hate when <laughs> people give you that whack candy, bro. It'd yeah. be like some type of fake Jolly Rancher, like the Chewy Jolly Rancher. Bro, you would be so unappreciative as a kid, bro. It was like... That was like what you were going to be like... <laughs> <laughs> trick or treat they be like oh hey it's always like some super old person bro, bro like, eh. are like, like, y'all cause I know for a fact my face was like <laughs> <laughs> you get something for free these people that spent their hard earned retirement money you know what I mean? But they was they didn't know, bro. They was out of the know, bro. You gonna give me some candy back from the thirties, bro? <laughs> Here you go. I'm like, what flavor is this, bro? I know. I was like, <laughs> raspberry pineapple. Bro, I don't what? want this. <laughs> what a Reese's at? Hey, bro. But after you ate the good candy, you did get desperate though, bro. Like that peanut butter candy that was in like the the dark black brown wrapper and like uh, orange. Yeah. I actually developed a taste for that, bro. <laughs> like, after a while, I, <laughs> so I ate it, it so much. Take it. Bro, I was like, it's like, it ain't that bad. I mean, it's not the first choice. But I'm like, this is this is all right. I mean, it tastes like this was made in the 20s, but it's all yeah. right. I don't know what it is. It's like peanut butter and something else. I don't yeah. know what it is to this day, bro. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I, they probably have them in Family Dollar, but I don't think I've ever seen them in the wild, bro. Yeah. I don't know where people find these things. Man, yo. Oh, <laughs> I might put out candy for kids this year, but I like I don't know if any kids are like around where I'm at though. You would think they would, be. <laughs> bro. I'm, I'm I'm scared to do it now, bro. In this time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some kid got diabetes, <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> and their parents gonna get Shut mad up. at me. Why would you give him a Snickers? Like nigga, this is Halloween. He came to my doorstep. You got a sugar free option, bro. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I've been a Sparta kick one of them, one of them parents, bro. Oh my god! Like, yeah, Timmy is diabetic, so do you have any sugar? Didn't you get the memo? 
So you don't believe in treating the the kids that sickly? You don't have no love for them? Like, boy, do you have insurance? <laughs> I'm like, the little Timmy better get some insulin and come get this candy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let, him, his best let him get low. How, make him fast the day before. <laughs> Facts. Let him get to the end. Timmy you know, be bring like, him back. Uh, it's okay, mommy. <laughs> Look, Timmy will thug it out too, bro. Facts, bro. I'm like, man, I'll push his parents up. Move, yo. Huh. I have a little Timmy in my arms, bro. I'll feed him at a Snickers, bro. Watch him come out of life, bro. I stuff a Reese's in his nose, bro. <laughs> it's like, see? Breathe, nigga. Breathe. <laughs> ah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yo. Facts, man. <laughs> oh, man. This is different, man. Hopefully, hopefully the millennial parents will pick it up, man. Yeah, you man. We got we to gotta step it up, yo. Yeah. We got to step it up, man. Because I'm like, uh, uh. <laughs> I know we've been out here dealing with life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but we gotta we gotta remember the holidays, man. We gotta yeah. we gotta give our kids that that experience, yo. Cause ain't nobody else gonna do it, bro. The government not gonna do it, bro. <laughs> 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 this public announcement has been brought to you by <laughs> the Double Edge Podcast. The government's not gonna do it. I need to get a shirt that says that. Yo. <laughs> the government's not gonna do it. Facts, They're bro. Like, what people just be like, yeah, that's right. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. I mean, truthfully, it can be anything. Facts, bro. But I will say this because I know we gotta gotta wrap it up, but bro, like the the commercialization of the holidays, particularly Christmas, mm -hmm. is what tried to destroy the soul of it, bro. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because it became more about money. And yeah, get it. People was trying to get stuff for themselves, bro. It was like, what type of sale is going on? Oh, I'm about to get this PlayStation. Yeah, and your kids is like, I wanted the PlayStation. He's like, next year. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Rat race stuff got more expensive. Yeah, man. Yeah, dog. We, we gotta bring the we gotta bring the soul back, bro. Yeah, man. It's up to us. <laughs> Song of '96, bro. You gotta you gotta play uptown anthem now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm gonna just fade it out this time <laughs> with the music playing. YouTube gonna copyright us. He <laughs> 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 like juice, nigga. <laughs> oh my god, man. Lord have mercy. Listen, bro. man, y'all be easy, man. <laughs> I just D Faith, Kamikaze Charles, Spence, CJ, whatever you want to call us, bro. Mm. We outside, man. It's a double edge podcast. <laughs> you gonna bring that kid back do, to the edge. Do something for your kids, bro. Please. <laughs>